Welcome back to Western Mass News on a chilly Saturday. It was really chilly. It was probably a typical January day, though. We saw temperatures in the 30s. Well, I have some new skis that I have yet to use. I'd mm -hmm. like to use them in the near future, but it doesn't seem like the snow is cooperating. No, we actually really haven't seen all that much snow for this season so far, and I don't think we're going to see very much probably within the next at least week. Okay. It does look like <laughs> there's some precipitation on the 10 day though, is that true? Yes, yes there is. We are expecting the possibility of some showers on Tuesday and I'll get into that a little bit more. But first looking at your 24, for tonight we're going to be looking at temperatures getting down into the middle and upper 20s throughout most of the area. We are going to be continuing to hang on to the cloud cover, especially as we get through the beginning portions of the overnight. But then as we get towards about 2, 3, 4 o'clock, the cloud cover will begin to give way to mostly clear skies and then we'll see temperatures once again falling a little bit more closer to around 26 degrees tonight. Well, as you're waking up tomorrow morning, we'll be looking at mainly sunny skies with temperatures getting up into the 30s, and then we'll top off around 39, 40 degrees almost as well. So another above average day for tomorrow. Our average high for this time of year is about 32 degrees. Now, once the sun goes down, we'll see temperatures falling down quickly down into the 30s, but then we will be looking at lows getting down into the 20s once again for tomorrow. Right now, we're seeing temperatures at around 30 degrees right now in Springfield. We are dealing with a healthy breeze coming in out of the north at 20 miles per hour. So there is a wind chill. It's feeling like 18 right now in Springfield. You can see the sky cam shaking just a little bit as well. Today, we reached a high of about 33 degrees in Springfield and in Worcester. A little bit cooler off in Pittsfield where 28 was our high. And then as you're looking towards the eastern part of the state, even toward the Cape, 47 was their high over in Chatham. We are dealing with a breeze significantly coming in out of the north, which is a cold wind direction for us. We are bringing in that colder air from the north. Now, four temperatures right now, 30 in Springfield, 29 over in Worcester, 34 in Boston, 33 over in Providence, and still over in the 40s on the eastern portions of the state on, and on the Cape. Pretty much all of southern New England is dealing with a bit of a breeze coming in out of the north at about 20 miles per hour here in Springfield and in 10 to 20 pretty much anywhere else. And we are dealing with that wind chill as well. It is feeling like the teens in Springfield, 12 degrees right now is the wind chill over in Pittsfield and 20s as you head down towards New Haven. We are going to be dealing with the breezes, especially as we get into tomorrow as well. We'll be looking at breezes gusting up anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour coming in out of the northwest as we get through the day tomorrow and even into Monday as well. We will be looking at the breezes finally cooling down, especially as we get into Tuesday. The winds will swing over to the west and we are going to be looking at breezes cooling down a little bit more as we get towards about 10 to 15 miles per hour for wind gusts. And we are looking at the hang on the winds, especially as you head towards the eastern portions of the state. So for tomorrow, here's the top number is your temperatures and the bottom number is your wind chill. Pretty much all day tomorrow morning as we get to the day, we'll be looking at highs getting into the upper 30s. We'll be looking at wind chills about 10 degrees cooler pretty much all day long with that healthy breeze coming in out of the north. But in the long term, we are looking at temperatures running well above normal. Our, our average high for this time of year is about 32 to 33 degrees. And then as we get towards the middle portions of the week, we are going to be looking at temperatures getting into the middle 40s. So it is going to be significantly above normal for this time of year. Now, we're looking at the radar right now. We did have a brief flurry and snow shower move through eastern portions of Hampton and Hampshire County a little while ago, but right now we are mainly dry. And then we are looking at lots of cloud cover in our area, especially as we have a low pressure system coming in offshore that's going to give some snow showers, especially to the eastern portions of the state. So looking at the future cast, you can see low pressure offshore. We'll be looking at some snow showers coming in anytime around tomorrow morning, and this is going to be mainly for the eastern part of the state and into the Cape as well. Whereas back here in Western Mass, we are going to be looking at mainly sunny skies all day tomorrow. We do have high pressure going to work in, and that's going to sort of deflect this low pressure offshore and keep the bulk of the precipitation coming in mainly just over to the eastern portions of the state. So now this is around Sunday night, and we're already going to be looking at this high pressure continuing. We'll be looking at mainly clear skies here in western Mass, and then we are going to be seeing temperatures and snow showers, especially as we get towards uh, the eastern portions of the state. Now, we are going to be looking at anywhere between a coating to about three inches of snow for the eastern portions of the state, but then as we get towards western Mass, with the sunny conditions, we're not going to see any snow and not even really even any flurries. For tonight, we'll be looking at cloudy skies with temperatures getting down into the 20s. And then we are going to be seeing a chance for some showers, especially as we get towards Tuesday night into Wednesday, although they will be brief. Wednesday will be breezy and mild with temperatures in the middle 40s. We are going to be looking at a rainy day for Thursday, lingering in into Friday. And then we are watching a wintry system for the next weekend, which does look to start off as a little bit of a mix before churning over to rain or snow and then rain on Monday. I'll have more on this forecast in just a little while from now. Matt, over to you.